Hey guys, it's Mrs. Stuber from Bingham. Um, I'm checking in with you guys with your activities that you could work on for day one. Our objective today and kind of our objective for all our lessons is to go through and just review different parts of the scientific method, earth science, life science, um, and physical science so you guys can get reviewed kind of leading up to our map test. Um, so right now our objective today is that you can demonstrate parts of scientific inquiry. Um, and so we have a couple activities that we'll use to do that. The first is gonna be this handout that says scientific method worksheet. And so this has some information in case you've forgotten um, for a scientific method. It also has some review questions so you can kind of test your knowledge for true, false, there's some matching and there's some picking out different types of variables and things like that. We did include the answers. Um, so if you're working at home, you can check and see if you're correct, but do make sure that you go back um, and try to answer them before you check out that answer key. Um, the next thing that we have for you is a Quizlet set. And many of you have used Quizlet before, uh, but I just wanna point out some of the features. So what we have is a card. Um, you click and you can see the answer if you click on the card. Um, the thing that my students really enjoy are the match game. So you take the words and the definition, you try to make everything disappear. So you would try to match up. If it's correct, it's green and disappears. If it's incorrect, it's red. And you try to get your time to be as low as possible. Um, and then our last piece that you could test out your knowledge with is to look at a one pager. And so you would list the steps and process of the scientific method, as well as listing differences between independent and dependent variables and parts of an experiment. Um, so good luck, guys. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys soon.